On today's episode, I'm gonna introduce you to the coolest boat dock project on Lake Austin. Behind me is one of the coolest dock projects I've ever seen on Lake Austin. We're privileged to be building this with local architecture firm, MF Architecture. And the architects in this project have put some incredible modern details on this project. So first, this is a ski dock. It's gonna be on steel piers. And we've got some really cool modern architecture going on. It's got a single slip for a ski boat on the first floor. And then the second floor is basically a party level. We've got a kitchen and a deck, some gorgeous views of the lake here. We're, here, we're right here on Lake Austin, which is right near downtown Austin. And one of the most amazing features in this dock is all the integration between steel and wood. You'll notice coming right out of the water, we've got some I-beams, and it's very unusual to see that on a boat dock, especially in the vertical section. And then later on, we're gonna be barging in a giant and extremely heavy plate steel roof. So stay tuned for a future episode when we do that. But let me back up and tell you a little bit about how we got to where we are today on this job site. You know, anytime you're doing a, a lakefront job, we want to use steel piles or steel piers to support the weight of that dock. Here on Lake Austin, we've got about 50 feet until we hit rock from this dirt level down. So we drove steel piles. These are eight inch round piles, about three eighths inch plate steel. And we used a pile driver mounted on a crane on this boat behind me here. That 3,000 pound hammer is gonna drive that eight inch pile all the way down through that 50 feet of muck and bring it all the way down until we hit solid rock. In this particular case, Brent's using a crane that has a 2,000 pound weight that's gonna drop and hammer down onto that steel pile to bring it all the way down to rock. Once it hits refusal, you'll see how that hammer bounces off that plate so they can bear a ton of weight. Each one of them, when they're finished, can actually bear 300,000 pounds of weight. We've got a couple of piles going on into the water, about eight of those, that will transition from around to an I-beam section as, as they transition from water level to above water. We didn't want to drive those I-beams because we were worried about getting them perfectly plumb as we get out of the water line. Of course, I-beams can absolutely be driven as piles, but again, trying to get that perfectly level and perfectly plumb, that was the problem here. So what we did was we drove those into the water, and then our project manager, Ben, came up with an ingenious idea for a caisson. We basically made a box out of steel, clamped it together with some neoprene, pump that out and then we're able to flush cut or actually flush cut about six inches below the water line here, the round column. Then on top of that, we're able to go into the one inch plate steel and then we welded on our I-beams on top of that. So now we could get those absolutely dead perfect. Of course, this is all possible because this lake happens to be a constant level lake. We're only varying a couple inches from that main level line. If we had a lake like Lake Travis that was going up by tens of feet at a time, this could be a problem. But in this case, it worked perfect. As we continue on in construction on this, we're gonna be checking back in on several videos. We're gonna show you how this progress happens. It's gonna be a fun project. Make sure you follow both my Instagram and Twitter feeds and the architects. We're always going to be hashtagging this Lakeshore Dock, and I'll put in the description below a note so you can get to both the architects and my Instagram feeds. Thanks for joining me on the Build Show, and stay tuned for future episodes from the coolest dock on Lake Austin.